What's up guys, it's Jay and today's video is completely different. Survive, who call this a color money conversation? A hundred stacks of cover, everything I'm kinda playing for I wanted to do a video like this for some time now, but I wanted it to be a vegan place or like veggie based place. And so I found one. It's a place called Loving Hut in Cape Coral, Florida. It's Asian cuisine. I got one order of crispy eggplants, one rice combo, and one vegan cheesecake. In total, it cost me $21.20. So here's our bag. First thing on top is the cheesecake. So I have touched this stuff already. I try not to. But these are the crispy eggplants with guacamole on top. And then the entree, which is the soy meat and then I also got a spring roll up first I have the fried crispy eggplant with guacamole on top the barbecue rice combo and this is textured soy protein if it's not I'm just gonna annotate it in a video rice broccoli and because I have a really crazy sweet tooth and I love sweets and finding vegan sweets is low-key kind of hard I got their vegan cheesecake, which... So, I'm going to start with the eggplant first. Um, I'm a little nervous, you know what I'm saying? Alright, well, let's, let's dig into it. Mmm. That's really good. But this is good. I had a spring roll. The spring roll came with a barbecue. Wow, that's really good. I'm actually going to eat the rest of this. Um, I'm not vegan. This is so good. But the goal is to be vegan by the end of the year. I really just want to change my lifestyle. I've been on a fitness journey for almost two months. It hasn't been that long. This is the spring roll and I got duck sauce. I like duck sauce on my spring roll. Let's bite into this. Um, It's not special about it. It's just like a regular veggie spring roll. So, I've been working out up to five times a week. Do a lot more cardio. I've lost weight so far. I just don't feel like I have. When I get on the scale, though, it does correlate with the work that I'm doing. I just don't feel like it. And also, I gained the weight that I have so quickly that I didn't even realize that matching my clothes was fitting so tight and my cousin was like well have you noticed that your clothes fit different and I was like they fit well so basically that's how much weight I have put on my clothes got to the point where now that I've lost so I've lost 15 pounds so far and since I've lost them I don't feel like my clothes are loose and it's because I was wearing clothes that I probably shouldn't have been wearing with 15 extra pounds on me. Now we're going to move on to the main dish, which really the only thing I'm worried about is this stuff and that's just because I've never eaten that before. At least I don't think so. And because it's, uh, it's a smidgen on the dry side. We're also going to give chopsticks a go this time. I I think this is how you roll chopsticks. That really was enough to do. Got yeah, soy sauce too. I really didn't think that this place would be um, Asian cuisine. Just because they have a bunch of different stuff on the meat. But you know what? They have barbecue stuff on the meat. That's what kind of made me think, you know, it's not cuisine. And they have some other things. But a lot of Asian stuff sometimes it is veggie based and they just add meat to it so I guess it just didn't cross my line. I am going to go ahead and add soy sauce because I like soy sauce. Right 
I wish you guys could see this better. I wish they had some like yum yum sauce or something. How I feel about this. Um, I'm gonna try it again because I don't. There's something, something different there that I don't quite know how to describe. Like it's not bad. Not bad. Um, it's a little gummy. And my fam. Has made it also less hot. I'm sorry. Broccoli is my favorite vegetable. But, um, in the videos I've been seeing like this, like, some people are really just like dogging their food, and some people are still being petite, crispy, and all that stuff. I really eat how I eat. All the time, I don't care anymore. I used to care though. Like, like high school, I cared. I didn't think I cared, but I did. I don't care now. I'm really struggling with these chopsticks. Okay. I think I'm gonna cool it on the chopsticks right now. And go on with our good old trusty fork. Oh, make sure you check the description box for these glasses. They will be linked down below as well as the coupon. This stuff is, is really good actually. I think the only thing that's throwing me so far is the taste of, of, of it kind of tastes like meat. This was actually really good. The eggplant and the guacamole. I'm recording, but you're not. That's really good. That's really good. I did like that. The spring roll is just regular. It's the veggie spring roll. And then this is bar the barbecue rice combo. Let's just sit down. Um, I guess almost like beef jerky. My mom is a shelf, by the way. She's not vegan or anything like that. She just was willing to try anything, especially since I decided that I want to go vegetarian to be vegan at the end of the year. Um, so I guess I can guys tell you guys about my diet while I eat. <clears throat> I'm supposed to be... <clears throat> I love rice. So, since I've been on this weight loss journey, I've been mostly eating vegetables and just really trying to minimize my veggie intake. Um, because like I said, I do want to be vegan at the end of the year. And I still eat um, a lot of I really still eat like I'm a vegetarian or pescatarian. People like to say vegetarians only eat veggies and still eat like animal byproducts. As far as I'm concerned, that's not vegetarian, yeah. But anyway, I still eat seafood, um, eggs. And, and dairy. I don't eat nearly as much dairy as I used to. I've been eating fish still because fish has good protein and I actually want abs. Shrimp. I love shrimp. And I guess part of the reason why I don't feel like I lost weight is because I'm, most of her workout is like strength workout, which is actually what I like to do. But I don't, I don't feel like I'm losing weight. Like, I feel like I'm just gaining muscle and everybody keeps telling me, you know, muscle burns fat. I feel like it doesn't happen as fast as other things. Because, again, I feel like I don't see it. Um, my arms are, like, a problem area for me. I actually made a video at the beginning of my weight loss journey showing, you know, my size and what I want to change Basically before, and it was supposed to be my accountability video, but um, 
I'm still getting on the body positive thing. Like, I feel that I'm beautiful. However, it's just, it's just hard to point out your imperfections to others. If that makes sense. I was just like, I don't know if I want to put it up, but I think I need to for my own journey. Just so I can really be held accountable for the things that I'm saying about my weight. Because something I've been doing about my weight is get to a comfortable size of just feeling good or stuff like that and just give up. But I really do want to lose 40 pounds. Like I want to get to my size and I want to maintain it. Something else I've been struggling with is drinking enough water. But that's been like a consistent struggle. Drinking enough water and eating enough times in a day. Like, I normally don't eat breakfast. Like, I just wake up and just start doing stuff. And you shouldn't do that. You should eat breakfast, eat lunch, and eat dinner. And we eat, I eat dinner so early, and I stay up so late editing videos or recording books, that I get hungry and, and I'll eat. But since I eat mostly vegetables, it has been healthy. There's only been like two nights where I had none that's been unhealthy. Like last night I had more frozen yogurt. I started eating real food. But I walked twice today. I walked to Walmart every morning and then I realized that my charger actually had a short in it. So I had to walk back to Walmart to get a new charger. <laughs> uh, but this week I also only been doing cardio. I started off two months ago doing two miles in 30 37 minutes I'm down to two miles mm. I think it was 25 minutes we're gonna do 27 two miles in 27 minutes actually I think it was 27 I'm actually positive it's 27 two miles in 27 minutes so I'm proud of myself because I'm getting better like, I feel the growth, I just don't feel like I see it. I feel it in my legs and my butt, but my lower half of my body always, like, tones up quicker than the rest of my body. Arms, like I said, are a struggle for me. And I really want a flat stomach, which is also a struggle for me because I have such a short torso. So I feel like I be doing the most, and I don't look like my stomach's getting any flatter. But, um... I don't really know what to talk about. I ain't got a minute left in. Hmm. What do you guys want to see from me? I've been getting some interactions. Um, I post weekly on Instagram. I'm trying to get to daily posts. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. Last is the vegan cheesecake. This smells like a brick of cheese. Like it literally smells like a block of cheese. This is probably gonna make me upset the most if this is gross, but let's try to dive into it. It literally smells like like cheese, like cheddar cheese, like sliced American cheese. But it tastes good. It took a second to hit me, but it, it tastes good. It's got good flavoring. I wish the crust was um, more crispy, but I don't know. A lot of places like um, flimsy cheesecake crust, and I'm just not a fan. Mm. This is good. So, this doesn't smell like cheese. Surprisingly good. Very good. Yeah, it took a second for it to hit me, but it was actually good. <laughs> My mom said it's made out of some kind of nut, which is believable because they make a lot of stuff like um, there's cashew cream cheese, like vegan cream cheese, 
can blend up the cashews and do some other stuff to them. I don't do stuff like that. If they don't sell a vegan version of it, I'm probably not going to make it. I might make it sometime in the future, especially if I have time, but let me tell you something about me. I like to cook, but I don't like to construct everything. I don't want to be making my condiments and constructing cheese and trying to make fake bacon with my meals and stuff. Like, I need those things to be done. I've been seeing so far with um, eating vegan is like everything is just like heavy prep time. I wish I could remember the cheese, the vegan cheese that I bought first, but it was gross and it didn't melt. I also haven't found vegan hot dogs or veggie hot dogs to be good. Like, I don't know if you ever tried those before, but they always have like this thick casing on them where if you like leave it in the oven too long or whatever you're cooking on too long, like the casing turns into a bubble. I wish I had taken a picture of it that night. If I had to say that I missed something, <clears throat> It would only be Wendy's. Wendy's was like one of my favorite fast food restaurants. And, and possibly Chick-fil-A. There was a place in Tallahassee called Guthrie's. I miss them as well. I don't know what it is about their chicken nuggets, but like when you drunk, riding down, riding through College Town, Guthrie's is a spot at two o'clock in the morning. It's just so good. They have a great food, and they've been there for so long. Like, really, that is a part of Tallahassee's history. I don't know how long they've been there exactly, but they've been there for a long time. This thing ain't gonna be so long. But um, I don't like watching long videos, so I'm not making some long video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next one.